I somehow I feel like I'm definitely out of place in the rest of this group. So let me just quickly um, kind of tell you a little bit about um, what we're about. So we have been developing um, science um, learning units for grades three um, that's funded by the George Lucas Foundation and then um, grades um, 11, chemistry and physics. Um, and that is um, a very big project that we also do with um, the University of Helsinki in Finland. And that's funded by the National Science Foundation and the Academy of Finland. Um, why am I telling you all that? Because um, I had started by thinking, oh, I, I was going to show you pictures of how this looks um, in both uh, Finland and in the United States of the classrooms. Then they said, no, don't do slides. And they said, do slides. And then I kind of thought to myself, wait a minute, I'm really confused. I'm really confused about what I'm supposed to do here. So let me just kind of quickly, I put down a few things and so you know exactly. So whether we're either looking at the third grade or we're looking at um, chemistry and physics, we have one thing that we're about which is to design, develop, and test. Yes, I'm the dark cloud, I'm the dark person, the person who's coming in Dark Vader for sure for testing a system for advancing science learning and learning both academic learning and social and emotional learning um, that builds a vision for enacting project-based learning and meeting um, the next generation of science standards in the US and Finland also has its own standards for science and many of the OECD countries have their own standards for science. So the idea for us is basically to create these units. So in order to do that, what do we have? We have a highly developed and specified education teacher materials. We also have highly developed specified student materials. We have professional learning supports and three-dimensional formative and summative evaluations. I will be going into much more detail about all of this um, tomorrow. So all of what we do is based on the principles of project-based learning, the principles of project-based learning. And these come directly from my co-principal investigator, Joseph Krejcik, who is a science research investigator who has done the major work on project-based learning for the last 20 years. He's in his sixth edition of his book on project-based learning. So what are they? They're meeting important learning goals, pursuing meaningful, relevant questions, exploring questions by participating in authentic, situated learning. Situated, meaning we're not trying to change a trait to make you a more creative person, but rather we're looking for specific instances within the curriculum that we can enhance certain emotional, and social learning activities at the same time, and I really want to underscore what Carl said this morning within the content of the subject matter that we're teaching, because if you believe in three-dimensional learning, three-dimensional learning starts with disciplinary core content, cross-cutting concept, and then the issues of scientific practice. Engage in collaborative activities, use meaningful learning tools, and scaffolding to help students participate in activities that have reasonable skills but are challenging, and I will go into all of this tomorrow, and create artifacts and produce products that address meaningful questions. So our curricular materials address three issues all the same. First of all, what do we want students to know and be able to do? What kind of evidence will we have that demonstrate proficiency? And what kinds of tasks will they be? Now, I want to stop here and just say we will be publishing, and I'm sorry, this isn't really a, uh, a commercial, but we've been working on this now for five years. Our first book is called Learning Science, Crafting, Engaging, Learning uh, Science Environments, published by Yale University Press. Um, that will be out in January 2020. We have 
lesson plans. We have pictures. We go into an in-depth unit. Um, each of our units are roughly um, 10 weeks long. We have three units in chemistry and three units in physics. Um, all of this material is there, and then all of our instruments, which are multi, many, everything that we have done, and most of all, we talk through the transformative experiences that the teachers are having with their own learning and what that's about and what the students, how they have been transformed by this whole experience. I just want to say one thing about professional development. Professional development is really critical to everything we do. We build teacher leaders. Our teacher leaders help us in the development of all of our materials, everything that we're a part of. They also serve in all of our um, professional learning experiences, which are very similar to what Stefan talked about with respect to what's going on in OECD. We have um, hands-on experiences, we have virtual, and we also have a hotline whereby teachers can call every day. Where are my materials? What do I need? The experiment failed. The project didn't work. We couldn't model this. Where can we try it again? I don't have what I need. And we keep that open all the time so that we're constantly interfacing with the people that are the most important to make this transformation happen in classrooms. Anyway, um, the, if you can stand to wait till tomorrow, I will give you um, what has happened in my life, which I cannot believe, because I have been doing research for a very long time, as my head um, assesses. But um, the reality is that I have never, in my entire research experience, had the kinds of results that we are having now with 7,000 kids in California and in Michigan, and what this has done in terms of their science learning at both content and social and emotional development. So until tomorrow, I will say goodbye. <laughs>